Dois anos atrás. Ok, eu just had the orders there. We're going into an Arab Israeli community inside Israel, where the target is a drug dealer. He is known to be armed and have heroin. We're going to go in under disguise, uh, dressed as Arabs. The guys are going to then hit the house and make the arrest. I'm just going to go and join them now. The man we are after has a history of using the proceeds from his drug trafficking to sponsor terrorism. We'll be travelling in unmarked vehicles equipped with covert cameras and 15 officers will carry out the raid. It's uh, two days training with you up to now. What actually? The operation's ah. second in command is a settler from the USA. Code name Americano. Now we're about to leave on an operation now. Uh, what can I expect? You're going to see our vehicles, you're going to see our soldiers operating in a manner which is foreign to any other unit because our main task is to infiltrate and work in an environment which is foreign to us as Israelis. We have to dress, we have to act, we have to feel, and we have to understand the psyche of the enemy so that we don't draw any unwanted attention until the moment the truth comes and we're really are there to do our job. Now, I've worked undercover before. When you get into that type of situation, working in an environment as tough as that, it was quite frightening. What's your personal feelings when you... I think my personal feeling is that, that the most of the fright and most of the scare comes before you actually step into the field. Because once you're in the field, your training takes over, your nerves are locked, and from there and in, you're a professional, and you're there to do your job. Okay, great. Let's get on. Let's do this. Some of the details of the mission are kept back for a private briefing of the officers. The Magav commanders don't want battle tactics to be leaked out. Well, although we can't film the guys doing some of the work and a lot of the stuff has they've got balaclavas on, it's for an important reason. And the last thing we're going to do on this program is compromise any policeman um, from operational work. We hit the road in our unmarked vehicles. OK, we've just left the border post there. We're heading now towards the target area. On the way, I get a sense of the environment we're moving into, and tension is running high. We're going to approach the area, circle it, just to see what the atmosphere is like and what's going on, and then straight in onto target and carry out the operation. The mission is a delicate one. This is a mainly Palestinian town, and the Magab unit don't want to reveal their presence until the very last moment. Looking over there, I can see over into the West Bank. Uh, you can see all the mosques. The mosque that's uh, located right behind this building is often used as a sniping post because of its elevation and its observation in the city. As we hit the outskirts of the town, the more affluent Jewish settlements melt away into the poorer Arab areas with ramshackled housing. The areas that I'm looking at look very much like favelas where there's no uniformed roads. They just seem to be built on top of one another. So it'll be quite important when we get in there to have the navigation to be spot on so we get right onto the target area. OK, we're uh, closing in on the target area now. We picked up the convoy. The whole team's together now on the road. And now we're just minutes off. It's the most dangerous point in the mission. We're entering hostile territory but we still have to remain undercover. Any show of force now will inflame the situation and jeopardise our operation. The inhabitants of the city, Chris, they're very hostile. A lot of planning and a lot of financing for terror acts come right from this area. The driver is concerned that we may be spotted. We are asked to hide the camera. Just watch your camera there, watch your camera, watch your camera down, down, down. There's a guy there, he's very close. Just uh, keep the camera right down. Okay, you're all right there. Just keep it there. Um, we're moving in now, very close to target area, and uh, we can't afford to be compromised by them seeing the camera. Um, we've got eyes on the street, and there's, there's a lot of kids dotted around. We're having to slow down to negotiate through uh, the traffic. Just keep it down there now. The camera is switched off in case our cover is blown. When it comes back on, 
it's all systems go. Okay, there's a target there. That's the target area there. Stand by. You ready? Yep. We're on. Stand by, stand by. And go. Right, we're on. We've got the guys going into the building. Got kids over here. We're in an opened area. Just check this fucking, there's nobody around. Uh, check the roof tops about 300 metres away. As you can see up there, quite easy to get an RPG out there or an AK. Put a couple of rounds down. But the guys are covering it. The most important thing is for the guys to act quickly to uh, get around. So basically, none of the inhabitants know what's going on. We can be in and out. Okay, they've taken up positions in order to make sure that nobody escapes the house, that nothing is thrown out the windows. One guy's always watching the house, one guy's watching the street, and one guy's watching the rooftops for any sniper yeah. activity. The unit encircles the target building. We're given the green light to storm the location. Okay, the guys are in the building now. And hopefully we'll find some gear in there, weapons and heroin. We're about to storm the building where terror suspect is holed up. You can see the crowd starting to develop. Operation over, our priority is to get out quickly and alive. Got to exit the situation now, very, very fast. And go. I'm on an operation with the Israeli border police, Magab, in the Palestinian town of Taiebe. We're about to storm a building to carry out the arrest of a suspected terrorist. The guys are in the building now, and hopefully we'll find some gear in there, weapons and heroin. Yeah, yeah. To get to the building, we still have to cross open ground. This is when we're at our most vulnerable, a potential target for a sniper's bullet. Yeah. Your locals down the bottom of the street over my shoulder, they're starting to look, see what's going on. The whole area is secure. The guys are just doing the basic tactics of covering one another and then covering the front of the house. We've breached the wall of the first compound, but we still have more open ground to cross before we reach the main entrance. Any rooftop could be a machine gun post. You've got flat roofs. You know, I can see a house probably about a thousand meters away. A good quality weapon could, could engage us. But Magab have put in a security cordon to protect the arrest team. We've got guys in the buildings up there. there are... The civilian police have arrived on the scene to support the operation. We're asked to stay outside the building. They don't know yet what they will find inside, and they don't want us contaminating a potential crime scene. The place is now secure. Yeah, we've got forensics. This dog specialises in uh, sniffing out explosives and drugs. But they're going to go through this building and sweep it, see what we can find. Word comes through that a suspect has been arrested in the property and that explosives have been discovered. An armoured van is called in. The heavy police presence has begun to excite curiosity amongst the local residents. What's happening now, you can see um, the crowd starting to develop. They're starting to push the kids out to see what's happening. You can see a couple of cars have now pulled up and they're all viewing. The police want to get the operation over quickly. What you've got to remember is there's a mosque just down the road here and in 10 minutes time. There's a call for prayer and uh, this place could be teeming. The streets were quite narrow and it would be easy to block them off. And we could then get a, a situation developing where you have a, a large crowd coming after us and then it just goes to ratchet. There's some more guys turning up here. It's a careful balance, getting the operation done thoroughly without antagonizing the local residents. The police don't want the situation to spin out of their control. In a swift maneuver, the suspect is removed and the men provide cover as he is driven away. The call to prayer signals that the mosque has opened and with it, the order is given to withdraw immediately. Okay. Got to exit the city. 